Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning into our channel. I am going to pull some cards here and give you a reading for the end of the year. Um, and if everyone is celebrating this uh, end of the year, Happy New Year's Eve. It's almost here. Um, well, at least here for us in Texas because we're still in the central time zone. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and start off with your uh, crowning energy here. So let's see what's come out for you here. All right, so here it is, the eight of autumn, okay? It is uh, do more research before proceeding. So education is in the form of seminars and going back to school or apprenticeships and excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. All right, so what that's telling me about you, Sagittarius, is that um, you know, there's some continuing adult education that's happening there um, as you are enlightening and as you're moving forward on your path. Um, you know, there's things that we're always learning. We're always open for spirit to show us, you know, uh, something that is going to serve us in our education as we are learning about our enlightenment having to do with our, you know, it could be anything about learning how to do Reiki, right? Becoming a Reiki master, um, learning how to do tarot, um, opening up a shop. Um, you know, it's all about um, being self-sufficient. That's where our enlightenment takes us, to be self-sufficient. Either you're, you know, you're working with herbs, you're learning how to grow your own vegetables, you're learning how to, you know, to do these things. That is all part of education. And whenever you are uh, doing these things and, you know, you're um, having patience to do it or you're having an excitement or a passion to do it when before you wouldn't, uh, you know, because I know how I am. Um, when... It is a passion and you're, you're excited to do it. Know that it's because you are healing your self-love and your self-worth. And all of it becomes where it's no longer work. It's no longer a challenge. It is no longer something that is a burden to you. Or like, oh my God, I got to go back to school. Or I got to learn this. Or I got to learn that. Look, I'm going to tell you, my favorite place to go to is YouTube. You know you can find anything on YouTube to learn how to do it. You know, learn how to fix the toilet. Go to YouTube. Learn how to do something with a vehicle. Go to YouTube. So, hey, maybe there's something that you have a passion for that you could be on YouTube too. It's all about not selling yourself short, okay? All right, and here's the next card for your crowning energy here. It is the Prince of Autumn. Look at that, both of them in autumn. So, uh, dependable, protective, uh, chivalrous, and humorous. Yes, that is the Sagittarius. Also, there is a caution though there's some wise action that's needing to be taken, um, meticulous attention to detail, and kindness to other others while you're doing it. So, yeah, there's, um, you know, you already know how you do, Sag. You know, your, you know, you weigh the pros and the cons, and and hey, and if it doesn't fit your path, or, you know, it doesn't. Um, uh, put the icing on your cupcake then um, there's no time for it and that's what I like about you Sagittarius I'm getting to know this more and more so um, just uh, just know that there is something that uh, you're needing to pay attention to and I'm feeling like maybe some of y'all are having to do some legal paperwork for something so yes of course you do want to pay attention to detail even whenever you are learning a craft or if you are you know uh, putting something together you know or you're in your education pay attention to detail because you know I'd hate for y'all to you know you're you're doing your education you're putting together your passions and then all of a sudden you know there's something that you missed and you've got to end up going all the way back right but also know that there's a message of that is happening to be the case because, you know, we can't just jump to what the answer is, right? And say, well, this is the answer. So, you know, nothing else fits and, and there you are. 
but it's knowing the equation, knowing how you got there, that's where the healing is. That's where the spiritual and the emotional uh, maturity is. You get that? So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of cards uh, having to do with your love energy. So, let's see what you've got going on. Maybe y'all are already at a New Year's Eve party or you're putting things together and inviting people over. Or you have, you know, something scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, let's see what's going on, okay? So, oof engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment this is also having to do with that's your self-love that's your self-worth you know um, before we do anything for anybody right or have love for anybody it's very important to love yourself first in that fashion however you are wanting whatever engagement whatever commitment that you are wanting you are needing to embody it as well because that's the energy that you'll be attracting. You want to have that lifelong commitment without any issues, then you have to be a lifelong commitment to yourself without any issues. And when there are, you need to be able to be patient enough to be able to break it down and see what it is is causing the problem. All right? Okay, I am going to pull one more. Release your ex. Ooh, okay. The time has come to clear your energy. And there you go. This is this is what's needing to happen right here. So this could also be, um, and, and if you take a look at that, you know, that, that person there, that angel there, you needing to release and let go, is holding on to a paper, holding on to an important document. Do you get that? And even the way the strap is that strap is tied around her shoulders, around her waist and hanging down. That's also indicative of how we can, you know, um, feel tied down to things still that are needing to have some karmic justice already, or needing to have an ending already, okay? So um, just, as the other cards said to, you know, pay attention, pay attention to the fine details, pay attention to, to every single word on these documents or anything that you are preparing to sign because, um, sometimes, uh, you can't go back. All right. You can't go back. You need to move forward, you know, and, uh, but I'll tell you, you know, this enlightenment, it can make us dizzy because, yes, you know, spirit will say, all right, yeah, pay attention to the detail. All is good. You got to release all of this. But if it doesn't go the way that you planned, there's a lesson there, too. And it's having to do with expectations. You got to let go of expectations. Things aren't going to be going your way just because. You have to be in a certain state of mind. You have to be attracting a certain type of energy to have it your way. And at the same time, your way though, wanting things your way, you're thinking that it's all you in your mind. Uh, uh this, this experience that you are having here in this, this human experience this time around is, um, you know, you're here enlightened and you're here with a very big purpose. So nothing is for naught. Everything has a meaning, everything has a purpose. So if something doesn't go your way, the way you were wanting to, then you've got to check your energy because it's something that you're needing to release and heal and let go. There's a change of perception that you're needing to have because it is an energy that you're attracting. Okay? But at the same time, when those things happen, we're trying to rewrite what's already written. You know? You're here already in this whole lifetime. It's already been prepared and planned and done. You just need to go with the flow. And when you do that, then whatever was meant, right, 
which is beautiful. You wake up, then you start being in your own free will, and you start shaping your heaven on earth. It ain't up there, and hell ain't down there. It is right here where you're at. So do you want to have a good time or not? That's your heaven, that's your hell. Okay? All right. Now, I am going to uh, pull a couple of cards that are the... Where did they go? Okay. They are the Butterfly Oracle. And these are for life changes. And you already know you've been going through too many. Sometimes it's like, uh-uh. I don't want another one. It's knocking on the door. I don't want another one. Don't answer that door. Lock it up. And close those blinds. And don't even look outside. Don't let them know that you're even knowing that they're there. Throw the dog <laughs> into the bedroom so it doesn't bark. Nobody's home. Right? Yeah, it's not that easy, Sagittarius. You already know you've got to be able to, to meet things head on. That's the only way that you can get through them as quickly and smoothly as possible. And you'll be meeting them with all the guidance of the Spirit. So, all right. Oh, keep the faith. There you are. That's the first clue. Yeah. And self-employment. Look at that. Okay. So these are just validations that are happening here. Okay. So keeping the faith. That is having to go on this side right here when it comes to releasing your ex. And, um, woo, and since I'm a physical medium and channel and all and I'm... Okay, excuse me, Sagittarius. I'm doing a lot of burping there, and my throat is feels like it's being shut off. So that is saying that there's a lot of throat chakra work that's needing to be done. You got to start saying what you mean and mean what you say. Don't worry about if you're rocking the boat or not. Remember, Sagittarius, if you're having to, think about what you're going to say because you're not wanting to rock the boat, right? That's your cue that you need to rock the boat because there are truths that need to come out, right? So that you can end karmic cycles. It's already the end of the year and we, we have been pushed to our limits. You already know. Just keep going with the flow because this next year coming in is full of abundance, is full of prosperity, it's full of love if you want it, but you gotta love yourself first. You gotta release your ex, right? And all these contracts and 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 all that done. Done. Even if they still have to, you know, they still have a, a bit before, you know, these contracts are done, or judge signs this, or the judge has to sign that, or whatever, you know that that can take forever. But the test there is, like this card said, keeping the faith. Because if you go with the flow, that you know that only the best outcome is going to happen for you. And what's wrong with that? Nothing, right? So in looking at this card here with that butterfly, that color purple there, that is indicative of the third eye chakra. So what that is telling you is that you're needing to have some clarity. You need to have some peace. And you can find that by having your faith and saying yes to the path, yes to the dress, you know. Say yes, because look, you're headed there. <laughs> you got to say yes to the path and yes to the faith. All right. And that's going to go over here under the release your ex and needing to, you know, um, to end all this crap right there because you, you already know you've been through a lot of it, a lot of it. And the next one was self-employment. So there you are. That is, uh, that's your sign. This is a validation for those of you that are right here, you know, that are, putting your business together or putting some things together or, or having to, you know, learn a little something um, for that passion that you're wanting to, to bring forth, okay? Um, 
enlightened folk, we are always drawn towards being our own boss. Because when we wake up, we realize that, um, you know, we're under restraints when we're in a 3D perception. Because you're not in your free will then. You're only acting and reacting to, um, you know, those around us that uh, are stuck in a certain way of thinking, in a certain uh, uh, perception. And the 3D is all about fear. That's how they get you to do shit, is to scare you into it. And what's that? That's crap. So now looking at this butterfly, just like this other one here, you notice it's kind of the same colors here. There's some lavender here, but there's pink here. That self-employment, okay, being your own boss, it takes uh, you having that self-love, that pink. That's going to be also part of your heart chakra. Self-love, self-worth, that's where you're your own boss. Okay, but that yellow butterfly, like this yellow butterfly here, okay, that is having to do with your solar plexus chakra. And that chakra, that energy center, is needing to have some healing. So is the heart chakra, just a bit, not too much. And what the solar plexus chakra is about, it that's your I am. That is where you are in, in your self-love and in your self-worth, you say, I am this. I am that. That is where you have your courage. That is where you have your confidence. Okay? So, all right. Now I am going to uh, pull a couple of cards from the Ascended Master. So, let's see what your, uh, you know, what the Ascended Masters, what the... Spiritual guides are, are, you know, needing you to focus, focus your mind, focus your attention to, okay? So I'm going to pull a couple more here. Yes, okay, all right. That's Ganesh. Now let me tell you, Ganesh is very powerful. And Ganesh has been, uh, my twin flame and I have been our leading ascended master. And uh, Ganesh is the... Um, remover of all obstacles, okay? There's the card right there. Yes. So, whatever question you had in your mind, this is going to be coming over here to the self-employment right there in the engagement. So, either you're saying yes uh, to the engagement, to the commitment, you know, to that higher level of knowing and loving the answer is yes is it's good go right ahead and that is nothing but prosperous and abundance look at that and then ganesh comes in and removes those obstacles and uh then you're good you deserve it sagittarius you've been working really hard all right and then the next one is saint germain Lovely. This is about working your magic. You are a powerful manifester. When you get your mind into something, nothing is going to get in the way. Nothing's going to stop you from doing it. You're aware of the highway. And that's a good way to be, but, you know, if you're still here needing to release some karmic, uh, karmic issues, you know, and still having a little bit of faith issues in your path, right? then uh, the manifesting is going to be uh, really slow. But once you can let go and look, be right here at that yes, right? From an enlightened point of view, you are no longer going to be doing things at all costs. No, uh-uh, because you know that, that don't, that's just incurring more karma, right? That's telling you that you are powerful. Right, and you put you can do anything and have anything that you put your mind to, so you're good. All right, so now I'm going to pull uh, one last card, and this is uh, going to be for food for thought. 
um, what you didn't see coming, okay? And um, so, let's see what last card I can, I can do there. All right, okay. Five of Springs. Opposing goals arising from differing, differing opinions. Feeling at odds with yourself or others and overly ambitious people. Okay. Again, look at all of that purple. If you can see that, I need to, I need to fix the lighting here, here in my corner. So you see this? I'm going to bring it up closer. You see that? All that purple there. Again, that is, that's just validation on this that you need to work on right here. Work on that faith. Work on that clarity, right? Work also on your solar plexus, okay? And that has a little red dot there that butterfly does, and that has to do with your root chakra. Your root chakra is red, so that means that all of this that you're doing here is just to fortify and make you an even stronger uh, foundation because that's what the root chakra is for okay so what you didn't see coming is this all right so that just means that as you are doing your work you know releasing your ex or or you know going over documents and you're going over the details and being careful there's going to be some people that are going to oppose you there always will be, always. But depending on where you are and your peace of mind, your peace of heart, in other words, your emotional and spiritual maturity, that's gonna tell you how, you're, how they're gonna affect you because they shouldn't affect you at all. It shouldn't affect you at all. When you become enlightened, you know that everyone is here playing their own role just like you. You stay in your lane and they stay in theirs. And if they're not, then you know what? It's time to go. See you later. I got my heavenly empire to build. Right? So, all right. Just uh, keep your wits about you. And stay as peaceful as you can and go with the flow. Because these things are coming. Because these are big karmic releases. And they are the releases that are enabling you to be able to move forward with your love life and move forward with your passions, right? And, and just uh, move forward with yourself, okay? So, all right, I'm going to leave it right there. And if you'd like to have a private and personal reading, please go on over to our you our. Uh, website twinflamemystique1111.com and uh, schedule a spirit session uh, my twin and i we are both psychic mediums we are uh, physical channels as well and uh, we call it a spirit session because we are open for spirit to come through however spirit is needing to either through your guides or if you one of your guides has transitioned over and they're still sticking around and have a message or if you have any uh totem animal um, spirit energy that you are needing to connect to to help you get through uh, you know to have some courage to remember your strength um, we're gonna bring that through too all right so okay have a safe time tonight have a beautiful first day of the new year the new prosperous and abundant year tomorrow okay see you later and see you next year